Gosh, I'm hungry. Nothing to eat. You want pizza? Oh yeah, let's Heck make some yeah. pizza. Today you're gonna to learn authentic wood-fired pizza in your home oven. There's two things that you definitely need is a wire rack and the pizza stone, which I'm not gonna show you guys because ours is already preheating in the oven. <laughs> yeah, so the stones usually get to about 500 degrees and they're gonna help us create a great crust on the bottom of our pizza. And same with this sort of air mesh, we're gonna be able to get air underneath the pizza and over. Let's go. this up yep let's grab the mixer all right you're gonna need I think, at least some sort of kitchen aid mixers are usually the best or, or something and these are paddle attachments these are great for when we start out and then this is a dough hook so this is gonna keep you from spending all that time going yeah you don't I personally want to do yeah that. I hate needing dough and, and you can get away with using this and don't let anyone tell you you can't yeah so I think let's start mixing pizza time.
I know, and it's crazy. I mean, this one actually came out like perfect. That one looks Look so at this. Good. Let's see if I can turn it. Oh! That looks so good. Heck yeah, this one came out really nice, and the crust is perfect, paper thin. I can actually see through it when I look towards the window, which is wild to me. And then this one's came out okay. No, this is my favorite one. <laughs> yeah, this is definitely our favorite, but we did it on the uh, on the peel, on the pizza peel. Mm -hmm. So it didn't come out perfect. It's cute. It's, it's a little, homemade. Yeah, but this one's really rustic. So, I mean, it looks like overall, this one's, the one that was on the stone is a little browner. Mm -hmm. What do you think? Well, yeah, definitely on the stone, which, and I feel like more, it's more crispier too than the one that was on the wire rack, so. Yeah, you can feel it already. They were cooked for the same amount of time, mm -hmm. but I feel like the stone is gonna give it that extra crispiness. This one's not too bad, but it, it's a little more of that, that yeah. wetter, soggier. I don't wanna say soggy, because they're gonna actually be pretty good and they're gonna be soggy. But exactly. Let's cut into this and see what happens. Tell me you worked in a pizza place. What about Tommy you worked at a pizza place? <laughs> I definitely didn't. I know you have, babe. Jeez. I feel like you can cut this lot. Like you would have. Yeah, like. Yeah, it's good. Sure. It's so good. Definitely make sure you got. You need to cut it a little bit better. Yeah. Right in the middle. I think you have to, um, you have to cut this right when it came out. We waited just a little bit. All right. It's but, still going to get eaten. Yeah. I mean, the crust on this. It feels amazing already. It looks good. It looks so good. Oh my goodness. I'm kind of scared. <laughs> to eat it all? Yes. Friend, you can eat it all? Okay, you get the best piece right here. This is the best piece. Look at this sucker. Oh my goodness. Okay. Freaking dripping. It's so good. All right. Let's try this one first. Okay. I'm going to wait for you. Ready? Yeah. I think, <laughs> I think you put a little too much flour on the bottom. Maybe. It's, it's really good though. I like this. I always loved white sauce, like the white pizzas over the. Um, oh, the garlic sauce? Yeah. Yeah. This one's well, really over good. the red mm. pizza. I love the taste of the dough. Yeah. Mm. Okay. It's good. It's not too dry. Mm -hmm. It's like, it's like, it's not chewy like, like you would think bubble gum, but it has like a chew. Mm -hmm. It's like really good. Now I'd probably look a mess. <laughs> <laughs> it's alright, we're eating pizza. Alright, let's try this other one. You a piece right here. Look at that. Oh, so sweet. This is like a textbook piece. Mm, cheers. Textbook pizza right here. Cheers. Mm. Mm. Okay, totally different flavors. Like um textures. like textures. They're like insane the flavors too, but wow. The pizza sauce that you made from scratch. Yeah, that's just plain tomatoes. So that's actually how you should always try to make tomato sauce. The best tomato sauce is in a can. It's just mm -hmm. canned tomatoes that you grind up yourself. And that's all you do. You don't put anything else in it. Well, we got all this pizza to eat, guys. Yep. <laughs> so we got to get going. It's, it's just too good. Yep. And I want to eat this off camera so I don't look like a pig. <laughs> if you made it this far in the video, please like and subscribe because you're our best fans. Yep. We love you guys. And, and we'll see you guys next time. Yep. We'll see you next time. Thank you.